Hi there, and welcome to the Smile Identity Core Libraries demo, where we'll be running you through an example integration. Let's get straight into it. Smile ID has a server-to-server -server API that lets you perform any of our actions. You can either integrate through a RESTful integration or one of our core libraries. These libraries break down our API to three simple steps. Download and install package, initialize the library, then submit your job. You can download any of our libraries from the following links. For example, our JavaScript library is available via NPM. Similarly, our libraries are also open source and you can grab the code from GitHub. To initialize your connection to Smile ID, you pull in the library to your project, then create an instance of the API. You only have to do this once. And then straight after that, you can submit the job. I'll get back to this later. Let's run through an example. I'll be using JavaScript. This example assumes that you have both install library and your project environment is set up. The steps are as follows. First, we will require the library and pull in subsequent classes that you need. Then we go ahead and initialize the API. Thirdly, you'll notice that there are some data points required in order to create the connection. Let's grab those from the sample code. All the information here can be found on the portal. I'll now go and log into the portal. Your partner ID is up here. This is a unique number associated with your account. You can get it here. Next, we require a callback because our service is asynchronous. I've made a dummy endpoint to use in this example. Now let's go back to the portal. You'll notice both an encoded and a decoded key. And in some instances, you'll see one or the other. We're going to use our encoded key in JavaScript. This is where you will use your API key. Lastly, SmileID server is an environment that you'd like to run your jobs on, either for Sandbox, which is zero, or one for production. We'll be using Sandbox for this example. That's initialization done. Now we're ready to submit a job. You'll see that there are other data points that are required to submit your job. Let's copy them from the sample code and go through each one. First, Parameters are used to keep track of jobs from your end. This information is determined by you, the partner. This consists of unique IDs associated with the job performed and the user and the type of job you would like to perform. We're going to register with an ID number that is job type one. These are all job types that involve photos which is why you'll see this image list. We're only going to provide one image. Let's get rid of that. The image will be the selfie and it will be an image that is sitting on my machine. You can also provide a base 64 encoded version of the photo. This determines the image type ID. This is the photo I will be using. This is a physical file on my machine. The path to the photo is in my main folder.
Now, we need the information that is required to query from the ID authority. In some instances, not all of these fields are required in the query for different ID types. You can find out more about that in our documentation. We need specific keywords used for country and the country code. You can find these in our supported ID types section. We're going to be doing a Kenya and national ID scenario. And then of course, we need the actual ID number for the Kenyan ID. Enter is used to confirm that all the information is provided and we'd like for it to be used. This is not a boolean. This is a string value. Lastly, how do you want our results to be returned? These are the options we're choosing for the job. Do we want to return job status? By doing this, we're going to get the results of the job in our environment. History is used to look at each step that was performed in the job. And lastly, image links, you will be able to find a URL to your selfie again. Great. Okay. Now we're going to run this in terminal. So let's quickly set that up. As we said, this task is asynchronous. ID is validated first, then a comparison is done. Let's go. You will see each step of the result being sent to your callback. First one being the personal information of the user as well as the ID photos. Then we get provisional result from the comparison and that is what we get back in the environment. The result here is provisional which means the final result is still going to be sent. You'll notice that the liveness check is under review. This means that it has been sent to human reviewers to do a manual check. The job is complete and liveness check has passed. Let's check out the portal. There's the latest job. Here are the photos, the selfie and the photo from the ID authority. Here is the information that we get back about the user from the ID authority and the actions performed by Smile Identity. Thank you and happy integration.